Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karjalainen. You can call me this guy if it's tricky to pronounce. It's good to have you along. Today I'm taking a second look at the Marshall Studio Vintage, the 20 watt head, and I'm gonna play it loud. So I'll be right back after this intro. <laughs> Okay, so I've already done one review of this amp and uh, I got some constructive criticism uh, where people, some people said that I should have played it uh, loud, like full on, so that they could see if it delivers the kind of plexi goods. So fair enough, uh, that's what I'm going to do today to rectify that minor error and I'm also going to talk about that a bit after I've played. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play uh, both with this guitar, which is a custom strat with Seymour Duncan YJM Fury pickups. Those are stacked humbuckers that sound a bit single coily, so they're not single coils as such. Um, and then I'm going to try, well you can't see it now, but I have uh, an Ibanez uh, Universe over there. So I'm going to try it with that as well, so you can get a kind of... Uh, audio view of what it sounds like with humbuckers and I'm going to start off by using it the way I did in the first review uh, so I'm going to play clean without an overdrive at a fairly manageable volume and then I'm going to turn the volume up all the way. Now uh, I'm going to use it as a clean and without an overdrive that is and then add a bit of overdrive from a Fender Yngwie Malmsteen overdrive as well. Um, the thing that's going to happen, because it already happened when I tried it the first time, uh, before the actual review, is that it's going to squeal a bit, and there was a bit of squealing in the first review as well. Now, um, some people said that it's probably because the pickups on the guitar were squealing, and I don't think it sounded like that. Uh, I've had pickup squeal from guitars, and it's not the way it didn't sound quite like that it didn't behave quite like that um, although it's still a possibility but what I think is I had someone commenting on the video saying that it's probably I think he said a microphonic preamp tube and I could check that out by lightly tapping the tubes with a pencil to see if there is a noise uh, I haven't tried that yet but there will be some squeal uh, and it's probably down to a preamp tube and once you change that everything should be fine um, I haven't had time to change that because uh, I'm a bit busy and all that so sorry but just wanted to give you a heads up on that so um, without further ado I'll play clean or yeah quiet first and without an overdrive and then I'll turn up the volume and I won't talk at all because the noise and compressors and everything setting levels will come yeah you know what it's like so I won't talk at all after I turn it up loud so here it is first at manageable volumes with a volume pot in the loop some people say it acts like a master volume uh, I think they might be right so this is what it sounds like with kind of a master volume <laughs> So it's not a plexi at full blast. Uh, next I'll turn up the volume and we'll see what happens. I might have to uh, adjust the levels on the mixer a bit. Oh and the hiss you're hearing is completely normal for a plexi amp at full volumes. My 50 watt plexis sound even worse at full volumes. So here we go. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Okay, so before I get the uh, guitar with the humbuckers, the Ivan is Universe, um, as you could hear, there was a bit of squeal and uh, it's not pleasant, but it's, I'm fairly sure it's just a preamp tube and once you swap that, that's fine. But I didn't have that problem when I was playing without the overdrive. So, um, but then again, I might be wrong, who knows? Um, <laughs> yeah, but what you, could notice is that it has a lot more overdrive from the power amp stage when you're running it at full blast and I was running it at 20 watts and if you're interested to know, to know if it's any loud, it is plenty loud. <laughs> Thank you. 
I say uh, first of all it sounds absolutely the business it sounds like a proper plexi uh, not the kind of stuff that you sometimes get like the origin which was good but at full blast and I had a question about this somewhere how does it compare with the origin uh, the, the thing about the origin was that when it was played at full blast and I had an overdrive going into it kind of felt like it couldn't handle everything, that it was kind of uh, buckling under the pressure, whereas this one just says, yeah, bring it on, <laughs> give me more, uh, because it's a plexi, it can handle basically anything. Uh, and that's kind of the difference between this and the Origin. Another difference is, of course, the price. So this is way more expensive than an Origin. But uh, I also get the feeling uh, that this is a bit louder than the 20 watt Origin, which I had. I'm not sure. Uh, that's the feeling I get. Um, it might just be my head, though. Um, but it's definitely way, like, way more, can handle anything way more powerful. Uh, and I think I, I had the reservation about the Origin until I a beat it against this one that could it handle a band situation and when I beat it against this one I was even more skeptical about it whereas this one uh, yeah I think it should handle basically any band situation it's loud enough at 20 watts even at 5 watts it's fairly loud um, if you're thinking of playing this at home in your bedroom at 5 watts um, you can't play it at full volume you need something for the loop or a power attenuator or something because the output, uh, at least, well, I'll try this because I haven't tried it. I'll see what the output uh, volumes do because it doesn't have a master volume. I'll just drop uh, the volume. We'll see what happens. Yeah, just like your typical plexi, uh, the volume doesn't actually drop the volume, it only makes it sound worse, which is why I use the little thing in the loop. And people have said it's like a master volume. And here comes something because someone said you're killing the magic of the plexi. Well, that's one of the magic things about a plexi, that you have to run it on full and you don't have to run a JCM 800 or 900 uh, on full or a JVM or whatever, there are tons of those different marshals. And I tried all of those and um, I have to say, I don't see what the magic about a plexi is if uh, that's kind of the magic thing. Because you can run a JCM 800 on full volume and it'll do the same thing with the power amp overdrive uh, as a plexi. But here's the thing, for me, the plexi sounds way better than any of the other Marshall amps I've tried. And they're great for some stuff. That's for me. That's a subjective thing before any of you start screaming at me that I'm an idiot. Uh, which I probably am anyway. <laughs> and you will probably still scream it. So, but that's kind of uh, all I have for you today. I mean, it sounds brilliant. It's absolutely great. And I'm gonna, next I'm going to A-B it with the actual 50 watt plexi. I'm not going to do a volume test because it's pointless on YouTube anyway. Um, this is plenty loud. This is crazy loud. But that's what I'm going to do next. So I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Comment. Let me know. And let me know which is your favorite Marshall amp of all time. Um, regardless if you've played it or not. And... Subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing and support me on patreon because I buy the gear that I review so I can let you know what I honestly think and honestly I think this is so great uh, It costs a fair bit of money and I'm not swimming around in money, but I think I'll still keep it I just have to have a look at the uh, tubes in the amp 
yeah, it, it sounds absolutely brilliant. And yeah, what can I say? So I'll end by playing a bit more on the Ibanez Universe and the Plexi 20 Watt Studio Vintage Marshall head thing. Uh, hope to see you in another one. Take care. Goodbye! <coughs>